Good evening guys, this is Rick with Soku Swap. Tonight I'm going to show you how to uh, get some stellar lumens and why I think it's one of the best ways to get uh, Binance Smart Chain in your wallet. Uh, so first we're going to start with Coinbase. Now we're going to go to Stellar Lumens. I actually already have a little bit of Stellar right there now, but I'm going to convert a little bit more of my USDC over to Stellar. Now Coinbase has their own fees and they kind of vary depending on what you're transferring. But we're going to start with Stellar. Stellar is one of those great tokens or coins that actually has one of the lowest um, transfer fees. Um, and, and then we're going to send that to our SafePal wallet. And SafePal's got a really great feature um, with their bridge. And you can actually transfer through their bridge uh, some Stellar Lumens into, into BNB. Actually, you can transfer it into Binance Smart Chain. So here we go. First, I'm going to hit the Convert button. Then I'm going to go to USDC. I'm going to do 60 bucks into Stellar Lumens. Preview. Convert now. You see there's a small fee there. It's pretty normal. Order submitted. I'm going to go back to the account. Now I've got uh, 400, or 146 bucks of Stellar Lumens. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send that to my safe pal wallet. So what you do in SafePal is you actually have to add Stellar Lumens to um, your wallet there by actually going up here into the search, type in XLM. I've actually already added it to my wallet. So now I'm going to go in here and click Receive. Copy that address. Now when you send to a wallet, you actually don't need the memo. Um, when you send Stellar to centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Crypto.com or any of those other centralized exchanges, you're going to need the memo. Just, just be aware of that. So now that I've copied it, now I go back to Coinbase. Now up in the top right, you're going to see a uh, receive and send. I'm going to click send. I'm going to do max. Continue. I'm going to paste my address from my wallet. And like I said, it doesn't require a memo when it goes to a wallet, but it does require a memo when you send into a centralized exchange like Coinbase. So I've got my wallet pasted. Preview send. It's going to ask you if a memo is required, and yes, I'm sure that it's not. Click that. It shows you what you're sending. You can actually see the network fee is, is zero uh, Stellar Lumens. And sometimes that changes just depending on either A, how busy the network is, or sometimes Coinbase is running, running promotions for, for converting and sending um, different coins out of, out of their exchange or out of, your, out of your Coinbase. So we're going to send it to our wallet now. It's going to ask you for a seven-digit code. This is pretty normal. It's just a verification. Mine's 7309858. Click Submit. Successfully sent. You click Done. Verify that it's gone. Looks like it is. So now we're going to go back to your wallet, SafePal wallet. Let it update, and it looks like it's there. So now, the next thing you want to do is go back in here, scroll up. Now you'll see that we've got those Stellars. So down in the bottom right-hand corner next to the little money bag sign, you see the two arrows pointing in different directions. That's actually the bridge. So what you do is you stay under the Swap tab, set the top as Stellar Lumens, and I'm going to convert into BEP20 Binance, which is actually Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to do max, click next. Now because you are converting um, through a bridge, there is some slippage tolerance. Uh, that's the default of 3%. I'm just going to stick with that and see if it works. Click swap. Now sometimes it takes a minute. Actually, it takes about 15 minutes. And you can actually see it says 22 minutes and 28 seconds here. Sometimes it gets done in about 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, I'm going to pause the video, let this finish transferring, and I'll show you what it looks like. So now we're back, guys, and actually the Stellar Lumens converted to BSC rather quickly. 
Uh, it took, it said it took 22 minutes, but it is actually only five minutes and 21 seconds. So now you see that we have just a little bit of stellar lumens left and we actually got the full transfer. And now you've got uh, BEP20 Binance Smart Chain that you can use on Soku Swap, Pancake Swap, any of the uh, exchanges that uh, uses Binance Smart Chain. There you have it, guys.